Hello guys, Omni here. I just finished watching El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. I waited up until three in the morning for this to hit and land on Netflix in my time zone so I could just jump into this because I, I could not wait for this film to drop. I love Breaking Bad. I love the show, watched it. Uh, as I didn't watch it initially as it started. I think it came in while it's season three was airing on TV. I, I really got into it thanks to word of mouth and the fact that the first two three seasons were on Netflix and that's what really got me hooked into this and that's kind of fitting too that this film comes out and once again is on Netflix um but I love the show from season three onward I was watching it every week as it came out and I just was glued to the TV this show is one of my favorites I've seen it so many times I think it's one of the greatest shows of all time and arguably as and that's really just when it comes down to the craft whereas the directing the writing the performances themselves as well as being able to do what seems to be a rare things these days is and that's stick the landing on its series finale and it gave us one of the most satisfactory endings i think we i've seen to a show in gosh so many years there's not very many satisfying endings to a series that i've really seen and this one really just pulled off the impossible and I was really on edge, more so anxious. And I think a lot of people were when they were talking about doing a Breaking Bad movie and picking up where the show left off. Um, a lot of people were speculating what it would be about. And a lot of people, again, of course, speculated correctly that it would be continuing on Jesse since really he's the only character from the show that we really don't. It was really left up in the air what happened to Jesse. We kind of got some closure on everybody else as far as Walt's family, Walt himself, and so on. And But Jesse's story was an open mystery. And Vince Gilligan and Aaron Paul managed to, I think, bring us successfully and satisfactorily back into this world to see exactly what happened to Jesse Pinkman after those events. The film... The only spoiler I'm going to go into as far as this film's storyline is concerned is that the film opens pretty much right after Jesse breaks out of the uh, the uh, the compound from the series finale. And it really just goes off from there uh, until the end. And this isn't an action-packed uh, movie by any means. It's very much character-driven, emotion-driven. This is all about Jesse just really trying to come to terms with everything going on in his life at this point and try to find some kind of peace and balance with that. Um, and how he does that is a little bit of a journey. And it honestly, I think it, I think it concludes in the only way that I feel like it should have. I think this lands just as well as the ending. I, I really, I think this is supplementary as well. I think you can, the way this is visually shot too, since they got pretty much the entire creative crew back together to bring this to life. Um, Vince Gilligan landing this with the story, with the take, with the script and the direction for all of this, as well as his directorial um, expertise in crafting this mystery. And it just, it's just visually and tonally consistent with the show. It doesn't feel like it's something separate, which is really cool because you could really just watch the series finale and go straight into this. And aside from some ages and some, you know, uh, definitely some progression in time showing up on some of the characters who reprise their roles, that's really the only noticeable difference. I really feel tonally and thematically that when we're coming back at the start of this and we're following along with Jesse Pinkman, it really just feels like home. If you're a Breaking Bad fan, you definitely know the feeling. I really think that you come in back into this and you just, it's just like coming home after a long vacation. You just chill back, sit down, you know, it's just comforting to be right back into it. Not at, nothing's out of place. You've been gone for a little while, but you're back and you can just pick up and get going. And that's what this does. And like in pure Breaking Bad style, there's a lot of really interesting segments. There's a lot of really visually interesting shots and camera tricks that they pull off on this. And there's one really interesting sequence that they do this thing with the camera that I'm really curious to see how they really kind of set, uh, set this up. I, I think I think you'll definitely know the moment uh, if when you're watching this yourself. Um, a lot of the theories 
as far as uh, we what we speculated in the reactions to the trailers, trying to break those down and kind of see what's going on, a lot of those, a lot of those didn't turn out. Um, at least not that I could think of. I'm pretty sure this just kind of threw us for a loop, at least for me, that a lot of the things that I kind of predicted would happen, or at least things that I thought it would touch on, it definitely didn't. And it wasn't really... Because the one thing I was really concerned about was like, what's the driving force of this plot really going to be? And honestly, it wasn't anything I thought it was going to be, but it ended up being quite perfect. And honestly, what we originally thought in the first place, um, I would say at least what I originally thought in the first place after this series finale is just this visually shows me what happens, how we get from point A to point B and the journey in between. And I just love it. The performances on this is perfection. Uh, I feel like the people that, are, of course, came back into this, again, aside from the showing of time and age, uh, they just slide right back into their roles. And this is an emotional journey for Jesse. Jesse has just been through all levels of hell throughout the show up until this point, arguably of his own making, but still. Still, it just, it doesn't weigh on it. I, I got emotional at multiple points in this show, even just from small things, calling back to the original series. And it's just, it's just nice. I This was a really welcoming return. And I think a very fitting closure to Jesse's story. If they ever decide to do anything else with this, I would be really kind of surprised. Um, but we will see. Uh, Better Call Saul is still going on. I'm not sure how much longer that's going to run, but... I, I feel like we are done with um, our core our core cast. So that's about all I will say as far as that is concerned. And I want to know what you guys have thought. I know this just came out. This is literally right after I watched it. It, it landed at 3 a.m. That is when I started it. I just wrapped it up. And right now, so if anybody else is watching it as a drop, you're probably just now finishing it to who. So... Who knows? It might be some time here before people get around to actually checking it out. So you guys here at the channel, if you're watching this video, if you've watched it, let me know your thoughts down below and let me know how you felt about this movie. How you, how did you feel about coming back into this universe and seeing that? Did, was this a satisfying conclusion for you guys? Or is there a, so did, did this, did you feel like this needed to be made? Are you happy that it was made? Just l let me know all of your feelings, your thoughts, your all of it down in the comments below. And I, I would love to carry on the conversation after the video like we always do here on the channel. So thank you guys. And if you like this video, as always, support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm sorry, I'm still a little jittery just because uh, this movie was an emotional roller coaster for me. Uh, I always got really invested into the show and just these characters and coming back into this it was like i said it was like coming home and it was surprisingly refreshing in a good way and i i just i loved it so again guys sorry about i'm just kind of fluttery a little bit here where i'm trying to talk so let me know what you guys think if you like this video support the channel by liking commenting and subscribing if you didn't like it let me know in the comments what you didn't like and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care everybody